Barbara Cast the Podcast. I am your host, Naomi K. Thank you for listening. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. When I first started out um, trying to develop a prayer life, I started out with the eyes, me's, and my's. You know, Lord, I, Lord, me, or Lord, my, when I prayed. And there's nothing wrong with that. However, when I began to develop a deeper relationship with God, I realized that there were more elements to, to prayer, that prayer was more fivefold. Um, there was a lot of confession and adoration, thanksgiving, and before the petition, and then came the intercession. And no, there's nothing wrong with going to God with the eyes, me's, and my's because the word of God references how not one sparrow falls from the sky and your father not take notice of the things that you need. So it's okay to go to God with the eyes, the me's, and the my's. But as you develop a deeper relationship with God, you realize that there's more to prayer than, um, than the singular pronouns. The Lord's Prayer is definitely a great example of how the I's, me's, and my's or the singular pronouns are um, needed much less in prayer. I read a book by W.W. W. Wearsby called On Earth As It Is In Heaven. It's a unique approach to understanding the importance of praying the Lord's Prayer. And while I was reading this unique study by W.W. W. Wearsby, I came across a passage in the study that just kind of stood my logic up about the Lord's Prayer in a corner, so to speak. It simply says, we must examine our praying in light of the characteristics of the Lord's Prayer. To begin with, the plural pronouns in the prayer, our, we, and us, indicate that the Lord's Prayer is a family prayer 